<laughs> you okay? Did you hit your head on the peaches? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I was, I was going to eat his head and then... <laughs> Hi, I'm Chris. Hi, I'm Ryan. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I hope you'll take a look around at some other videos while you're here. I make videos about healthy weight loss, simple plant-based recipes, and living a healthy lifestyle. Today, we're doing another grocery haul. So much food! So much food! We ran out of a bunch of stuff, so we did a nice big grocery haul together as a family. Lots of fun. I was gonna try vlogging in the grocery store, but it's quite awkward. It's quite awkward at any time, but particularly now with masks and COVID and trying to keep spread out from people, yeah. but then people are unpredictable. And There's then... some weird like customer traffic patterns and Meg was trying to snap pictures, I noticed. And, like... Yeah, so I took anyway. some photos, I'll insert some photos, and I think I got a little bit of video, but not a lot. Um, anyway, at some point we will do a vlogging grocery haul down the road, but right now it's just not a great time to be doing that. Anyway, with all that, we will show you what we bought. Very exciting. Most of it is whole food plant-based. We have a few items that are plant-based, oil-free, but not completely whole food. And yeah, should we just get into it? Yeah. If you like this video and you like grocery hauls in general, remember to give us a like. Subscribe to the channel below if you haven't already. It really helps us out and it's completely free. No obligation, just hit the little red subscribe button. That'd be really very much appreciated. So with that, let's get into it. What do we want to start with? We can't start with our favorite thing that we usually start with because we didn't buy it today. That is so weird. <laughs> so if you've seen a grocery haul before, you know that usually our special item that comes first is frozen broccoli. Every time. I think every grocery haul. Every time. But we didn't grab it today because we already have a bunch of frozen broccoli on hand. We did a Costco run, I don't know, a week ago or so. Yeah. So we'll start with something different today. Oh, Riordan's picking something. What's that? Spices. Ooh, spices. We got some ground cumin. We were out. Do you want to hold that one up? It's going to be yeah. heavy. We got some plant milk. So we grabbed some silk, original soy milk, and some earth zone almond milk. And they're both unsweetened, yummy, delicious plant milk. They're both yes. so <laughs> yummy. Next up, colorful coleslaw. So this is a coleslaw mix with red and green cabbage and shredded carrots. And it's really yummy and just easy to just toss into a salad, toss into a soup, toss on top of anything really. Sandwiches. Sandwiches. I often forget sandwich. I can't forget sandwiches. It's very important. What's that? Lettuce! <laughs> well, close. Spinach. spinach! I think it's baby spinach this time around. And again, great for salads, sandwiches, chuck it into everything, add more greens to your life. It's always a good thing. And, and soup too. And soup too. Cantaloupe! Ooh. Ooh. We all love cantaloupe. Ooh, ah, uh, so delicious. So we'll be digging into this soon. Very exciting. Peaches. <laughs> Does anyone else just think of that? The peaches song? Every time. Every time, yeah. Yeah, the peaches Millions song. Peaches. Peaches I always song. think of Seinfeld with the Mackinac peaches, if mm. you're uh, of a generation that gets that. Yeah. That's exactly what I mean. It's so Let us know. Yes, it's very yummy. Let us know in the comment section if you can relate to the musical. <laughs> musical uh, reference or the Seinfeld. Yeah, I mean, Seinfeld's just everyday relatable, so. Ooh. You okay? Did you hit your head on the peaches? Yeah. Yeah, well, I was, I was gonna eat his head and then. <laughs> blueberries. Blueberries, oh, I have been loving blueberries lately. So good. Fresh ones. Well, yeah. we went blueberry picking, and that kind of set that us on the path. That started it all, didn't it? Yeah. Of blueberry loving. <laughs> and then we bought frozen blueberries when we were at Costco yeah. a week or so ago. 
And now we're just back into the fresh uh, tons grocery of blueberries. store blueberries. Yeah. Yeah. We just love blueberries. So good. Check out our blueberry pineapple and ice cream. Mm -hmm. So good. Yeah. yeah. I'll have stuff mm -hmm. linked below. Cool. Next, potatoes. Potatoes. We grabbed a couple of these bags. We were almost out of potatoes. I think I have three. We have three left or something. Yeah, that's unheard of at our house. That's crazy. Yeah. So yeah, we needed this restock. We grabbed some yellow potatoes. We got two bags. Good to go. Yeah, on the potato train, as it were, we bought another big bag of them. Um, you can't really see through this yeah. bag very well. They're sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes. Now, Yum. I've had this conversation with Meg a couple times. Growing up, we called these yams. But apparently they're, they're not yams. Are they yams? I'm still confused on this. I think it's a big... Uh... It's a potato conspiracy. Well, I don't know if it's a conspiracy, but I think people don't know the difference. We don't know the difference. If you know the difference between a sweet potato and a yam, let us know in the comment section below. I once <laughs> saw Dr. McDougall and Mary McDougall have this conversation too, and they weren't even sure. I know. So it made, made me feel not quite as bad that if I, just because yeah. like, like, I don't know, but they don't know either. If you're a potato farmer or you have <laughs> a potato life. Special knowledge. Special potato knowledge have. that we do not have. I would love to learn more about potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the weirdest thing to want to learn about. Okay. Cauliflower rice. Cauliflower rice. Love cauliflower rice. So good. We have these in a lot of hauls too, um, because we use the rice cauliflower in a lot of different dishes. Mm -hmm. Just toss it into anything. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Yeah. Just chuck it in. Extra nutrition all the way. Yeah. Oh, in front of Ryo's face. Oh no, his head is cauliflower rice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's this? Tempeh. Tempeh. Ooh, we love tempeh. We have a few yummy tempeh recipes that I'll leave linked below. I've been especially enjoying our buffalo tempeh. Mm, yeah, I like that one so too. So good and so easy. It's just like a shake and bake kind yeah. of thing. So it's kind of fun to make too and really simple. Yeah, I like it in the pita wraps. Mm -hmm. I'll load up some grains and cauliflower rice and some greens and stuff. A yummy way to eat it. Super good. Yeah, so good. Daddy face! <laughs> Daddy have a tempeh face? All right, romaine lettuce. Yum. Love me some romaine. Delicious in salads. That's our main usage for romaine. And it's so good. So yummy. Nice mixed with spinach or mixed with other greens. Very good. Cucumber. Cucumber. <laughs> What do you have to say about cucumber? What do you like about cucumber? That's tasty and it's green. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Ryden's gonna be excited about this one. Corn. Corn. Yeah, we, we, we haven't had corn in a while. Yeah. Yeah, so that's gonna be super yummy. Yeah. Applesauce. Applesauce. We bought a bunch of these. We yeah. usually do. We usually stock up. I think I bought like five or six. Yeah. In the fall, we love to make our own applesauce. Really delicious and super simple. Um, but usually at other times of the year, we tend to just sort of buy applesauce. I don't know why. I think it's because in the fall we can go like get Apple our own picking. apples, like pick fresh, yeah. like it's local for us. And that's really kind of a special. Yeah. Like if you're gonna have a special moment with applesauce, that's about as special as it can get. <laughs> Fair. Dates. Dates. We were completely out of dates. It was a sad, sad time in the gray household. Yeah, I think these two had to go all of three days. Without dates. Ryden loves to snack on dates. I also like to snack on them, but I like to make date syrup and things like that. So it's nice to have dates in the house again. This is another item that we ran out of, that we never, ever, ever run out of, but we ran out of oats. I'm and it was weird for a few days. <laughs> we had oat groats and we had other things, but it was just weird to not have our go-to rolled oats. So yeah. very happy to have these back in the house. We grabbed, I think, three bags. So we're stocked up for a Yeah, bit. I used a bunch, like the last bunch that we had on making oat flour. Right, we needed oat flour for a recipe. Yeah, so I blended a whole bunch and then I was like, oops, no oats. Yep. Problem solved. Yep. <laughs> what is it, Raritan? 
Do you know what it is? Tomato paste. Tomato paste. Da, da, da. We love having tomato paste in the house. Adds a pop of tomato flavor to many different dishes. Yeah. We use it for barbecue sauce. Yeah, we've used it in our chickpea burger recipe as well. Mm -hmm. That's Marinara sauce, pizza sauce. Yeah, lots of yummy things. All right, one more item of fruit, bananas. Bananas. We have another bunch over on our counter. Mm -hmm. Bananas. Banana phone. A bunch of banana phone. <laughs> anyway, we love bananas. We eat them as snacks, use them for lots of different purposes. Nice cream smoothies. Lots of good stuff. Oats. Waffles. Oats. Yep. Sandwiches. Yeah. Bread. Silver Hills bread. Silver Hills bread. We love our Silver Hills sprouted bread. I have the squirrely in my hands. Riordan has the sprouted power. Both are delicious. Super yummy. Riordan's pretending to eat it right at the moment. <laughs> being distracting but yeah these are great breads highly recommend giving them a go if you haven't already yeah really they should sponsor us we we love them and we talk about them in every haul video we should ask them. yeah come on silver hills anybody from silver hills watching sponsor we love your bread we love your bread the grains <laughs> the seeds the bread okay what's that right do you know what it is I don't really know what it is. It's a liquid smoke. Liquid smoke. For a smoky flavor. Yum, yum. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't use it all that often, but it's very nice to have on hand. We ran out, so. Another soy thing, sauce. Yeah, another thing we ran out of is soy sauce. Riordan loves putting soy sauce on top of his rice and mixed noodles. with his- Noodles. Yeah, noodles. What else? Sometimes mixed vegetables. Yeah, or broccoli. Yeah. Cool. Cheerios. Cheerios. So now we're getting into things that are a little less whole. Um, so we have a few cereals. The boys love cereal, and I occasionally will have a bowl, or have, <laughs> or have a little to just snack on. Ry likes to have them for snacks too. So we have Cheerios. We also have some shreddies. Oh, careful. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> pita. Some whole wheat pita. This is our the cedar bakery whole wheat pita that we tend to buy. Really yummy. We like to use it for wraps, obviously, like pita style situations. Really delicious. We bought a few of those. And one last item that is specific for Dada. One last item that's specific for Chris. Yeah. Because we don't, Ryden and I don't really eat them. Not but, really. But, but I would like to try some. Yeah, yeah you'll have some had a couple again, again, but yeah. So pretzel sticks. Chris has really been enjoying pretzel style things lately. These are oil free, yeah? Oh yeah, they are. Oh yeah, they're as... They're oil free. Yeah. So an oil free vegan snack. Um, you know, not the healthiest obviously but but if you're gonna buy like you know when you go to the grocery store you hit those middle aisles where a lot of the not so great stuff is stored in terms of a bag of like chip like snacks this is kind of the best that you can do and i have a major uh video game addiction and this is a great if you're a video gamer fyi i'll just put this out here it could get edited out afterward i don't mind but just in case if you're a gamer Pretzels are great because you don't get any of the flavor powder crummies on your hands. So you can go from pretzels to joystick, pretzels, joystick, pretzels, joystick. Pro tip. No hand transfer. What about popcorn though? Yeah. See, Air pop popcorn would be a better option. I can agree with that. I have things about popcorn. It's the mm, in the teeth. Right. Like, see how I have the gops. The gops. It drives me insane. I can't do it. I'll be gaming and I'll have something stuck. I can't. Anyway. <laughs> no, pretzels, I'm afraid of the pretzels. Way to go. Pretzels at the moment. Maybe we'll try to find an alternative. But, yeah. Uh, for now, it's pretzels in the evenings, yeah? Yeah. Unless it's a sandwich or a well, bowl often, of cereal. Yeah, I often do peanut bowl butter toast with chopped bananas oh, all over the top. Yeah. All right, we're very excited for all the yummy foods that we just got. So yeah. good. Ryden, are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. Peaches. What are, what's the first thing we're going to eat? 
Um, peaches and blueberries. Peaches and blueberries. Good plan. High five. Yummy. Thanks for shopping with us, bub. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you really enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Grocery hauls are fun for us to film. We tend to shop together for the most part and it's a fun little family outing <laughs> going grocery shopping together and then, you know, putting everything away and filming this for you. It's, it's nice, it's fun. So yeah, we hope you really enjoyed this video. Again, if you like it, remember to give it a thumbs up. Leave us a comment below letting us know what your favorite items are. What are you guys doing? We're telling people to thumbs up. Is that the thumbs up? <laughs> you look like a creature. <laughs> Raiden's the thumbs up creature. Doing more grocery hauls was requested from you guys. So I hope you watched and enjoyed and stay tuned for more grocery hauls, healthy lifestyle tips, weight loss content, recipes, all that good stuff. What Meg eats in a day. Yes, what I eat in a day. So I hope you guys are having an amazing day and we will talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.